Dear Evaluators, I'm Carolina Beckman and I'm going to present you our paper which was made in collaboration between the Universidad Técnica Federico Santa Maria, Universidad de la Frontera and Universidad de los Andes. Electromobility refers to the development of impulse or traction system that use electrical energy applied to a different means of transport. Historically, both heavy and light vehicles have been powered by internal combustion engines. Electromobility is an effective and sustainable alternative to reduce the negative effects of transportation. The benefits of electromobility are better air quality, it reduces noise pollution, a better energy efficiency, energy diversification to depend more on renewable energies, a waste management, and the possible to create a smart city by using the electric cars as a urban sensor. The converter that was used for this work is a dual active bridge with a partial power configuration, which enables to control the output power of the converter, reducing the conduction and switching losses. In this case, the total voltage is the sum of the output voltage of the converter and the voltage that enters directly from the battery. The modulations that can be used for this dual active bridge are the single, extended and triple phase shift. The difference between each modulation is the external phase shift generated between the bridge and the internal phase shift that can be produced just in one bridge. It's important to choose the correct one to minimize the transforms RMS current and then decrease conduction losses in the winding and switches. To do the power scan, we choose a low and a higher value of power and the number of intervals between each value. Then we get the constant value of our efficiency for each power. Afterward, we do the same procedure for the extended, the triple, and the conventional single phase shift that the simulator Plex uses with a proportional integral controller. The result showed that from 5.4 kilowatts, the best modulation in terms of efficiency is the single phase shift, which showed a maximum value of 99.41% at 6.5 kilowatts. To analyze the harmonics of the transformer current, we open the current signal with the scope and we apply the Fourier spectrum. Then we do the same with each modulation. The result was that once again, the single phase shift is the best because the harmonics have a lower amplitude. Thank you for your attention and special thanks to the EEEE Industrial Electronics Society and a student and young professional paper system program.